One, two. Good afternoon, church. Let me welcome all of you here this afternoon to the funeral service of our sister Soraya. I invite those standing outside, please take your place inside so we can begin with the tributes. Family members, please come inside so we can begin. A pleasant good afternoon to everyone. This tribute is from Soraya's best friend, Cyrilia Charles, or some may know her as Miss Fati. Soraya, your life was a blessing. Your memory will remain in my heart. I am deeply saddened by your loss, but grateful for the time we had together. My beloved bestie, daughter figure in my life and my biggest inspiration. You may have left us far too soon, but your loving presence will endure forever in my heart and soul. The nine years we shared together have come to an end. We were each other's anchor. Now I feel as if someone pulled the rug under my feet. No matter how much time passes, the memories shared between us will never fade away. It's sad to realize that you're gone. It's difficult to come to terms that I will not be getting any more phone calls from you, especially on Mother's Day, Christmas Day, and New Year's. If only there was a phone in heaven, it would be possible. Now I figure out that there will be no moments with the jokes we shared, the laughter, how we welcomed each other's problems with open arms. Your beautiful smile will light up the heavens. My best friend Soraya, my daughter, my children, oldest sister, was friendly, helpful, and willing to see the good qualities in everyone. She was always generous in sharing. Yes. She always provided me with assistance. She did it without reservation or reward. I can recall sitting with Soraya when she visits. We shared everything. For her, I was the person she turned to when things got rough. The mother who knew all her secrets, desires, fears, and problems. We kept nothing from each other, never lied to each other. Bear in mind, I am using the word never lied. Soraya always and brutally, honestly, with full respect, spoke with me out of her heart. She let me into her inner world, into her mind and deepest corners of her soul. Soraya wouldn't pick up any incoming calls when we are in any conversation. I would say to her, Soraya, your phone. She would reply, I can recall vividly when her daughter Angelica would call, Mommy, where are you? Her reply would be, I am by Miss Fatty. 
Angelica would now say, well, I come in for a roti. My shop was her favorite spot in Viewfort. She would spend the entire day with me at the shop and made it her duty that I returned home safely, not even worrying about her own self. A heart of gold stopped breathing, a soul beautiful as a bright shining star. Goodbye is not forever. Goodbye is not the end. It simply means I'll miss you, Soraya, my daughter, until we meet again, my best friend. Love you forever. Thank you. If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain There's a place for people like you if you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak If you shine a little light Give sight to the ones who've lost their way There's a place for people like you and I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold I believe when your day's down here are through There's a place up there for people like you if you walk around with your heart on your sleeve And if you try to be the change you want to see If you lay down your life for love So someone could be saved There's a place for people like you and I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold And I believe when your days down here are through There's a place up there for people like you Oh, 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 for people like you.
Iya. Although it is a sad occasion, we say welcome. In the words of her daughters, Soraya was born on July 1st, 1973. She left this earth two months shy of her 50th birthday. She was the daughter of Margarita Severin and Eurek Nathan. She had two daughters and one son. She was a patient, compassionate, pleasant, and amazing mother, grandmother, aunt, sister, partner, and friend. She dedicated her life to family and ensuring that they were immensely supported in whatever they desired. She had a big heart, and anyone, everyone around her felt that love. It was very important to her that everyone around her was happy. Soraya made lots of sacrifices in her life, some you would never understand. I can't echo enough how much of a best friend she was to her children. They loved her very much. She was always ready and available to listen to them, no matter the time or the problem. One of the qualities that can be truly admired about Saraya is that she was very quiet and always kept to herself. This lady loved gardening. It was a joy to spend time with her partner as they planted and harvested crops not to speak of selling by the roadside. Every crop must go. She was determined to go back home with nothing but an empty crate. Oh, how she loved Christmas. It was her favorite holiday. It really brought great pleasure to her and her big heart when Christmas came around. From decorating the entire house to creating all of her family's delicious meals, and she always made sure that her fruitcake was on the table. Saraya made sure that everyone felt the Christmas spirit. She loved family, and this was the essence of Christmas for her. She tried her best to teach her children and others alike about being a good person and doing good to everyone. She placed all her efforts into raising her children to the best of her ability. Her partner was her everything. She loved spending time with him. She warmed the hearts of her friends and everyone that she met. Saraya had a lot of love to give and she gave it freely and willingly. She was truly an incredible human being who gave inspiration to everyone especially her kids, in any and every way possible. Even though she is gone, I know that her legacy will live on in all of us. Before her passing, she got to share her last moments with the people she truly loved. As we grieve the loss of this phenomenal woman, please remember that grief is the price of love. We shall forever cherish those precious moments we celebrated with her. Saraya left this earth on April the 5th. However, she will always be in our hearts. I thank you.
Good afternoon once again, brothers and sisters. I now invite you to stand as we begin the funeral service of our sister Soraya. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in our afflictions, and thus enable us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We bless the body of Soraya with the holy water that records her baptism, of which St. Paul writes, all of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death, we were buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of her baptism, Soraya put on Christ in the day of Christ's coming. May she be clothed in glory. Amen. I invite you now to join in singing the first hymn on your program, Go Light Your World. Now 
your sister. She's been robbed and lied to. Steals holds a candle without a flame. Carry your candle from to the darkness. Seek out the lonely. The Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened. May our hope of resurrection for your departed servant, Soraya, also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I hear a loud voice call from the throne. You see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning of sadness. The word of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. He said, I will give water from the well of life free to anybody who is thirsty. If there is rightful inheritance of the one who proves victorious, and I will be his God and he a son to me. The word of the Lord. As a response to this first reading, we shall all sing, Only in God is my soul at rest. Only in God is my soul at rest. In Him comes my salvation. He My stronghold, my Savior, I shall not be afraid at all. My stronghold, my Savior, I shall not be moved. Oh, 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul's to the Corinthians. I will tell you something that has been a secret, that we are not all going to die, but we shall be changed. This will be the instationers in the twinkling of an eye. When the last trumpet sounds, it will sound and the dead will be raised. Imperishable and we shall be changed as well because our present perishable nature must put on imperishability and this mortal nature must put in mortality. When the perishable nature has put into perishability and when this mortal nature has put on immortality, when the words of scripture will come true. Death is swallowed up victory. Death, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? Now the sting of death is sin and sin gets its power from the law. So let us thank God for giving us the victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. We stand for the proclamation of the gospel. is in heaven and from heaven comes the savior we are waiting for the lord jesus christ ale, ale, ale. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus says to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God's tea and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If they were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this afternoon we have come here to celebrate the life of our dear sister Soraya, whom for some of us in Sotobos, came to know her because of our brother sitting right here with us. And for me, when I came to know this young lady, I thought they were brothers and sisters. Because when you look at her and look at the family, you, could, you will hardly notice the difference because they were always looking the same. 
And this made me to understand that when two lovers are together and they love themselves, they tend to look alike. The Lord is good. And so it became so clear for us to understand that these two persons were actually in love. Now, how does it come about? In life, God created us in his image and likeness. And he created man. And after creating man, he caused man to sleep. Of which some, somebody actually said that God was the first thief on earth. To steal from a man. Of course, when man slept, God now removed the rib from man to create woman. And when he has created this woman, he brought her before man. And when man saw this creature before him, he exclaimed, This at last is the bone from my bones, fresh from my world flesh. It is to be called what? Woman. For out of me, this is created. And I realize that the existence of our sister and our brother brings out the image and message of God's creation uniting these two persons to live together I will put it as husband and wife it is so clear for us to understand that if giving our sister opportunity she wouldn't have answered the call of God at this moment because of the love that existed between her and her boyfriend now, just as the gospel we have heard this afternoon, taken from the gospel of John, chapter 14, from verse 1 to 6, Jesus noticed the discomfort when he actually revealed himself, the purpose of his being on earth to his disciples. On the night before he could suffer the following day, he summoned them together and addressed them with these words, I am going to die. I will be arrested. I will be handed over to the Sahendrans. They will judge me and condemn me and crucify me. When the disciples that he assembled when he came on earth heard this message, they were disturbed. They were not happy. And so their hearts were not happy because their master they trusted and the man they looked up to was going to leave them. This made them to be sorrowful. And that is the reason why the portion we have harvested this afternoon to share amongst us in the Gospel of John 14 from verse 1 to 6 tells us when Jesus noticed the discomfort in their hearts, he turned around to address them. And this is what he said. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Let us trust in God and still trust in Jesus who had assured us that he's only going ahead of us to prepare a place for us. And no, the death of our sister might have created some kind of tension and anxiousness and anxiety in our hearts, making us sorrowful. But it is so clear for us to understand that she is only taking a bold step. She has answered the call of God and moved on with her life. Leaving us in these simple words, we are by we are still sorrowful, we are by we are still panicking, we are by we are still asking questions, we are by no answers will be given to us unless at the end of our journey here on earth, we ourselves we embrace this journey the same way our sister has embraced in her life. Now, with the encouragement getting from Jesus, it should be a source of comfort for us. Jesus says that since he loves us, he is not going to abandon us here on earth. He is only going ahead of us to do what? To prepare a beautiful place for us where there will be no sorrow, where there will be no pains, where there will be no hatred, where there will be no gossiping against one another, where there will be no pains at all, or where all of us will be equal in the presence of God. Of course, we hear the second reading, we are supposed addresses us, telling us loud and clear, death, where is your victory? Death, 
Where is your sting? The sting and the victory of death has been captured by Jesus Christ, giving us an idea of who we are, so that at the end, we should have this at the back of our mind that our sister death is not the end of life. It is only the channel whereby Jesus himself has gone through and he's inviting us to know that at the end, this is the only way we are each and every one of us is going to follow. Now, he says, I am going now to prepare a place for you. Then you hear Jesus is saying for each and every one of us. It's not only for our sister lying in that, that piece of matter. It is not only our sister or for our sister lying there the, uh, lifeless. But all of us are inclusive. And Jesus is saying, the most important thing now for us to understand is for us to get ourselves ready at every given time. Because we don't know when and how and where each and every one of us will be called. But the most important thing is, let us know that death is no longer waiting for anybody. Don't procrastinate. Oh, tomorrow I still have time. Next year I still have time. Another year coming I have time. There's no time for any one of us. If it is by age, there are so many persons, so many other family members that are older than our sister. In this same family, death would have been looking out for them. They wouldn't have come, the death wouldn't have come to her. But it is not by age. It is when God decided that this should take place. And no one of us knows the day, the hour, or the time that this will happen. Jesus, Thomas tried to argue. Lord, we do not know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus assured us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come to the Father except through me. The death of Christ on earth, the death of Christ on the cross, the death of, cross he, of Christ here on earth is for us to understand that this is the only channel leading to God's kingdom. Of course, he had the power to overcome death. That is why at, at, when he approached the city of Nine, where he saw the child of the, the only child of this widow that was being taken for burial, he saw the discomfort in the mind of this woman. And he stopped the bearers with the dead body and commanded that the child should rise up. And this child came back to life. When he arrived at the house of Lazarus, where he saw the sorrowful mind of, of Martha and Mary, the sisters of Lazarus, he commanded that Lazarus should come out of the tomb. And Lazarus came out. Why would Jesus stop his death? But it is only for you and myself to understand that this is the only channel that he has invited us that i am the way the truth and the life and no one can come to the father except through me of course it is a heavy burden now for us to carry it is so difficult for us to endure these pains it will be a difficult moment but in the gospel of matthew eleven twenty-five 25 to 30 jesus assured us let us bring our worries, our burdens, our anxieties, our difficulties to him. He is always ready to take care of us. That is why he addresses us. Come to me, all you who labor and overburden, and I will give you rest. So that my yoke can learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden light. Of course, the burden of our brother now is who is going to uh, occupy this vacuum that our sister Soraya has created in his life. Who is going to occupy this vacuum that our sister Soraya has created amongst us? Who is going to take that position and listen keenly to the young lady who actually articulates her points when she was presenting that, that, that tribute and listen to her? This is pain. This is a painful moment for all of us. She outlined most of those points for somebody that she spent good time with her. And most of the time she spent with Asoraya were not time of sorrow. Were not time of disappointment. Were not times of what? Of, 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 of dislike. They were joyful moments. They were moments of trust. They were moments that somebody could lay his or her neck on the block for another person. So this is, these are the qualities that we are called to demonstrate when we come here on earth 
says, this place is not our home. We are all passing here to go to our final place. So, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, let us have this at the back of our mind as Jesus reminds us in the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10. He said, I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. The fullness of life it's not for all of us to be jumping around, enjoying yourself on, good, on Fridays with friends on the streets. The fullness of life is not for us to go to the beach, roast chickens, and eat and celebrate. The fullness of life is not for us to be drinking all the time and make merriment around. The fullness of life is for you to live that perfect life that when your body is will in the church, or when your body is, when we gather together to celebrate you, people should have good things. The way our sister had so many things to say about our sister. And for so many of us who came in contact with her, coming to this church, for those Sundays that she will worship here with us, she used to sit right to the other side. At this end of the bench, right there, that is where, where any time she will come to church with her boyfriend, they will sit there, and other family members. That place, even though somebody else might sit there in this church, but it is still vacant. Who is going to occupy that place? Not just physically sitting there. Occupy that place with your, with your character. Occupy that place of, in the house of God with your dignity. Occupy that place in this house of God with your humility. The same way our sister had all these qualities as we celebrate her today. May God our Father grant her into that rest and above all, consolation to the family members and for all of us who have gathered here as we celebrate her life. May God our Father grant her a beautiful place to rest in peace and consolation to all through Christ our Lord. Eternal rest grant unto Sarah, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon her. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. Shall we all stand as we offer our prayers to God our Father? Let us in faith call upon God, the Almighty Father, who raised Christ's Son from the dead, as we pray for the salvation of the living and the dead. For our deceased sister Sarah who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that the Lord will be merciful in his judgment towards her and grant her pardon and forgiveness of her sins and admit her in the company of the sins. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the family and friends of our sister Soraya, that they may be consoled in their grief and sorrow by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped them, that God will reward them with his goodness, blessing them with renewed vigor, strength, and courage to serve him faithfully and those entrusted to their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For the sick, suffering, dying, and others in desperate need, that God will accompany them in their pain and suffering. May they come to experience the love and care of Jesus through the love and presence of persons who can listen, understand, and minister Christ's love and strength to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For peace, that God may calm the storms of violence and bloodshed and bring the human family to calm and cooperation. 
May there be greater efforts at resolving conflicts through dialogue and meaningful negotiations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom through Christ alone. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will take up a collection and during which we sing Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved the rain. signing of the register witnesses Melville Seville Evelyn Edward Angelica Edward Moses Severin please proceed to the table for the signing at this time we sing the goodness of God Been held in your hand. 
From the moment I awake up Until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God All my life you have been Shall we stand, please, for the final commendation? With longing for the coming of our God's kingdom, let us offer our prayers to the Father as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Sarah, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see our sister again, and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. We continue with the hymn, All I Ask of You. of you is forever to remember me as loving you. To remember me as loving you. Someone will be calling you to be there for a while. Can you hear their cry from deep within? All I ask of you is 
is forever to remember me as loving you. May I invite the immediate family members to come around her for final blessing, please. Our response shall be receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid. Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ call you, take her to Himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Soraya in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestow upon Soraya in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn to us and listen to our prayers. Open the gate of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another in the assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham and where Lazarus is poor no longer, may you find it in a rest. Whoever believes in me, even though that person dies shall live, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. In peace, let us take our sister to her place of rest. Our recession on him, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks into the bright and fair, when the seven shall gather over on the other shore, Sister Soraya has gone to her rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome her to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist her with our prayers. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the grace of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as his claims are mortal bodies. Grant that our sister peace see you face to face and your life will see light and know the splendor of God for you live and reign forever and ever. God of holiness and power, 
accepts our prayers on behalf of your servant Soraya. Do not count her deed against her, for in her heart she desired to do your will. As her faith united her to your people on earth, so may your mercy join her to the angels in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Internal rest grant unto her, O Lord. May her soul rest in peace. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Remember, you are dust, unto dust you shall return. May God our Father set your soul.
the Lord of sea and sky. I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save.
the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save.
I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will say. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I?
sea and sky. I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. My 
my hand will I who made the stars of night I will make their darkness bright Who will bear my light to them Whom shall I send Here I am, Lord Is it I? I will break their hearts of stone, give them hearts for love alone. I will speak my word to them, whom shall I say?
I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save.
by the Lord of sea and sky. I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. Speak 
Tu vas faire pour pas avoir les gars venus Il y en a vu encore. 
Oui. Je bonjour. Bonjour, c'est tout bonjour. Ah, oui. Yes. Africa brother, tell the viewers and all those who supported them a big thank you. My feature of your small. Hey. Hey. Don't help her, don't help her. Yeah. Let her do it. Just thank everybody for attending. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So the family would like to thank each and everyone who reached out in whatever way possible during the time of bereavement. Family greatly appreciates your support. Do have yourself a blessed and safe weekend. One love to the max. Is there anything else you'd like to say before I close?